I am full as a tick. Full as a yes. Is that they say? I'm, yeah, I'm that is. Full as a tick, yeah. right? It's kind of gross. Our actually. belly, yeah. Ticks are gross. They are gross. Our <laughs> bellies are full. Our hearts are full. All the things. Oh, the, that is so true. My heart is is so full right now. You can now. now say happy holidays. Say happy holidays. I uh, had my birthday, and we have a visitor here with us, which also makes me happy. Hi, buddy. Come here, Will. You want to say hi? Can you wave to the camera? Can you wave to our friends? That light's kind of bright. Can you wave hi? Wave at the light, basically. <laughs> All right, D don't go to the light. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is my little guy. That's this your little man. Little, he's homesick from school today. All right, well. So we have another co-host. That's awesome. Perfect. Perfecto. He's running around here. He's being extra extra quiet. He's so well-mannered. Uh, and I really love, love his hat because it's got my initials on it. So there you go. Oh, yeah. You need that. <laughs> uh, and these uh, are samesies. Matchy, matchy. We, yeah, we, have, we, have our, we have our toboggans, right? Toboggans? Toboggans. Call them toboggans? Yeah. I, that's all the way I know. Um, what skull, is it? Oh, I, uh, in, um, in Canada, they're called a toque. A what? A toque. A toque? Yeah. T-O-Q-E. <laughs> I got so many jokes I can make with that. Yeah. I, I took. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, man. You can oh, absolutely. It. Do you want to say hi into it? Yeah, say hi. Whisper hi into it. I, we've told him, we've asked him to be quiet, so now he's whispering. <laughs> whisper. I've never seen a kid whisper so much, though. That's what's so. That's what's so awesome about it. Uh, it would last three seconds with my little girl. Ooh, press that. Yeah, press that. Oh, you want to give that a try? Oh, a little harder. Oh. oh! That was yeah. That, oh, that was a this little that was a little startling. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize that was going to be the sound that came out of that. Bless his heart. Yeah, I've ruined him. Well, we want to. I want to thank Kinetic by Windstream, Kinetic Home, Kinetic Business. Can you say thank you, Kinetic? Can you say thank you? Look into the camera and say, say thank, thank you, Kinetic. kinetic. Oh, don't don't think well, anything. It's all right. <laughs> we all do it. We all we all we all do it. From time to time. From time to time. Thank you so much, Kinetic, for, for sponsoring the show. Thank you so much for doing this for a whole nother year. Uh, we're super happy to have it, and we're super glad that they are doing this to bring the stuff to you all. To, the stuff. Because this is the this the is goods. the stuff. The, the, yeah, the goods. Uh, we're super happy, super honored. Um, go to Kinetic, uh, Kinetic Home. Uh, go Kinetic. Well, go to go Kinetic Home uh, on on Facebook. Go Kinetic Biz on Facebook. Uh, check out all the stuff they're doing on there. Uh, they're, they're talking about, ooh, holiday shopping for uh, their Black Friday deals. So, uh, so yeah, thank you so much, Kinetic. We're going to show um, a quick video from Kinetic. Count on Kinetic to deliver the ultimate experience in ultra-fast internet. With all the jaw-dropping, eye-popping, pure adrenaline that's possible from a network running at full speed. Studying and working from home, or simply streaming your favorite shows, has never been easier after the massive investments we've made to reimagine our fiber-backed, reliable network that's still expanding to more homes and businesses every day. Count on Kinetic. Go to gokinetic.com for details. So, uh, scrolling here on the uh, uh, Kinetic, you know, Facebook page, they're talking about uh, you know Black Friday deals, and it reminded me uh, that I just recently figured out why they call it Black Friday. Why is that? Uh, it's it's crazy. They um, uh, it's when in your ledger, I guess in your accounting, you go from the red ink to the black ink, which I'm assuming is you know red is you know your your, yeah. your in debt, you're in the hole, yeah. and then moving to black is like okay, I'm it I'm gets cutting, out. Yeah, it's I'm cutting even, but like is there like like a, a time when you get into the green? Is that like, is that the next step up? Like, is that when you're making a profit, I guess? I mean, I don't yeah. know. Oh, I, I think black is still, you know, black's always good, right? It's, you're making profit, but green would definitely be. I think, I feel like green is like, year. yeah, that next, that next thing. But anyways, so yeah, go on here, go on hay. Facebook and check out everything they're doing. Uh, you know, they, uh, they, wow, they say, they say it right here. See it, they see it right here. <laughs> we take pride in recruiting and uh, retaining military veterans and military spouses, as well as uh, partner with veteran-owned businesses. Aww. So that's really awesome. They're, that's, yeah, near and dear to your heart. Corey. Yeah, they were named top 10 military-friendly company for 2022. Oh, I love that. That's awesome, man. So military-friendly. Yeah. Boom, boom. And they, they do have a lot of um, programs. There's some support for rural broadband and connectivity for using it for home and um, school and things like that. So definitely check it out because they 
they do a lot for communities all across the nation, but especially here at home. We're going to be seeing a lot more. We just had a meeting with them, yes. and there's a lot of exciting things we're going to do next year. So uh, some some fun changes um, that you get, you get you'll get to experience with us. That's right. Um, we'll bring you along for the fun. Bring you bring you along. I can't talk today. Maybe I need a little bit of why not. Oh. <laughs> I cannot get it out of my mouth today. What is happening? Speaking of Speaking not being of. able to talk, can you say who's whose dog is this? What's the wine? Oh, that's Gizmo. 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 Gizmo is Leisha and Clint's cute pup. One of one of many of one their of little many. cute cute yeah, pups. She's got a type. I would say Alicia has a type. Totally. Totally. <laughs> they have a few of um, what are those little dogs? What are they called? What's Gizmo? A, um, He's not a Pomeranian, is he? No, no, no. Th- those are more puffy. Um, they are. They are. He. Oh, Gizmo is a um, Does Shih Tzu. It say, Shih Tzu, I, I think, think you're right. Does it say on the back? It may say on the back. Yeah. Um, the back. But Gizmo is a tribute to our girl, a sweet uh, red blend of Concord, Niagara, and Estate Norton that you're sure to find refresh- refreshingly delicious. I can't talk to you We can't. What is happening? It's the cold. But a, do- a dollar of each bottle is donated to the Kentucky... Um, animal rescue which is awesome crazy so I you know. you buy the wine and you're on your donating and you're is, supporting which is great for thanksgiving giving back it's still the giving time of year pour it up pour it up i love it i love it Ooh. That, um so urban dictionary time what's the saying i'm sitting like up, turned wa- up. watching Do people you still say that Tur- Get, turned, turned up, up. Yeah. yeah what does that mean um earmuffs for the kids but uh if you go to you know TikTok, there's Turned Up Tony. He's he's funny. He's kind of a wild character. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Turned Up. Let me see. Turn. I, I would say it's like raising it to that next level. Like get turned, turned up. up. But I, but see, it'd be like Turned Up. Get turned up, Emily. Yeah, you know get, you're not cool when you're saying that. Cool. <laughs> we need to get turned up in here. You can always show your age when you try to say um, what the kids are saying, no, slang, yeah. and you do, you don't even yes. get that right. No, yeah, and it looks like. Uh, these lyrics are hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's just like na 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 na. Anyways, uh, songs nowadays. Stop these kids. Songs nowadays. Uh, okay, well, well, Chris Webby, I guess, had a song called "Turned Up." And oh, then is that where it came from? Maybe that's where it came and from. Artists. And then people. Uh, and this is what does it mean to be turned up? Excited, turned and turned up begin as a slang term. And oh, yeah, just meaning excited, adrenalized. Intoxicated, but not. I don't think. Does it mean intoxicated as in like no, alcohol inter- or no, like no, intoxicated with like? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But can you see? It's pretty dangerous. Do you just need to read it straight up? Right yeah. There. Do you need glasses too? <laughs> I do. I. I mean, I'm like from back here. It's kind of fuzzy. A state of being wild. Corey, you're gonna have to go to Kaylin or Haven because you're getting some lines. All yeah. This, all the, that squinting at the. There is a little. There is a little. There is a part of the of the definition that I don't necessarily agree with, actually, okay. at all. Well, we'll just stick with excited. But I think excited is what I'm going to go yeah, with. Yeah. Let, let's 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 take we'll it back. That. Let's take it back. I almost shut it. Like I'm done with this. I'm <laughs> done with this. Turned up. Cool. So yeah, there you go. There's your young slang. Use it wisely, though. Yes. As yeah. which you all should also drink. That's right. Drink responsibly. responsibly. I'm going to have a taste of this. Cheers. Gizmo. Cheers, Cheers to Gizmo. Gizmo. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I really like that. It's a four out of six on the sweetness scale. Dude, dude. Dude, that's, Chill. that's good. Wow. It, it really tastes like grape juice. It, it's like straight grape juice. Yeah. Like, where is, I'm going to, well, mm, empty so out Will's sippy cup, and I'm going to hold it and just put this <laughs> in here all day, because that's, that's what it is. Yeah, this is delicious. This would be so good at a holiday meal. That is good. It actually, a holiday meal, Will's cookies sitting over there. I kind of want to eat it with this. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you do that? I mean, I I have a, one of my biggest. You're telling all my tricks. I tried all the things you guys to get him to sit there and you know just yeah be chill. Well, but you got you can't. He's it's, two. What, he's, you know. Oh, oh yeah, he's two. Oh, he's super smart for two. I tell you that walking around here, um, doing big things. Uh, I, you know, with trying to keep your kid busy, it's it's definitely it's definitely a chore. Um, but one of the things that I have a problem with is having that dad like to say it's okay not to have to eat her leftovers like she'll have she'll eat like two bagel bites oh i hear him 
You're, you're good. He'll eat like two bagel bites, and uh, and uh, or she will eat two bagel bites, and then I, I'll have to feel like I have to eat the rest of them. It's okay. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, and cookies and anything, but it feels so wrong to waste it, you know? I know, I know. And then sometimes, like, as a mom, you haven't eaten, you know, because you've been, like, getting them sorted and all that. And then it's, like, their leftovers and so they, like, quick. give you something. Yeah, and you're, like, anyway. But can, see, definitely if you hadn't eaten. If I hadn't eaten, then, I mean, that's not too bad. But, like, yeah. I just had a full meal myself. So, so it's, like, I don't need this. And then you felt this. like you need <laughs> Yeah. I don't need you this. You don't want to be wasteful. What I do need, though, is some experts. We need some experts. Need in some our experts. Life. Let's let's go into the vault and look at uh, a, a, a good oldie. Wisdom. Oh yeah, look oldie from from Holly and, and Brett. Let's do it. What's up, Woodford? I'm going to show you today my functional elliptical. This is a little bit different than our usual ellipticals that we have here because this one can actually incline and you can focus more on your hamstrings, glutes, or your stride if you have any kind of knee replacement or any kind of hip problems because it does take a little bit of weight bearing off of you. So what you're going to do, you can either hold it up just like this, and on my ellipticals, they're not plugged in, so you gotta get them going. Battery powered, after 10 seconds, they'll go. You'll push go. And then on this left side, you can actually set your incline. I usually tell my clients to go all the way up. What this is going to do is slowly bring this part backwards so that your stride is almost of that as if you're riding a bicycle. I would get used to the stride before you go, before you start messing with the resistance. Once you feel comfortable with your stride, then mess with the resistance. I usually tell my clients to do this for about five to 10 minutes, keeping your heart rate between 120 and 140 if you're looking for fat burn. Other than that, it is a great functional exercise for hip strength, glute strength, or any, any balance exercise. Hi, my name is Holly Cruz, owner and stylist at Moxie's Style Studio to here in downtown Versailles, Kentucky on Main Street. So first of all today, what I would like to share with you guys is all the rage right now, and that is the good old fashioned curtain bang. So, um, and it's not really old fashioned, it's really new, but it's been around for a while and I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So with our lovely lady right here, um, she has already been pre-cut uh, in the front where her curtain bang starts and she does have some layers which I'll show you really quick how to blend in. So the biggest thing that you want to do with the curtain bang is it's all about to style it out about where you place the heat. So we've got a blow dryer, a nylon brush and we're going to over direct this forward. Bring it down towards the nose. Apply heat directly on all sides. Roll it up. And the trick with most things, as far as curls go, is to let it cool in its spot, just for a few seconds. And then unroll, and just kind of let it fall where it will. Then you can kind of place it with your hands and shape it. If you need to roll back through it, it's fine because because you've set that heat, it should stay very well. And then I like to use a quick finisher spray, something lightweight, just to for hold and anti-humidity. And there you go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Are you a 94.5 mix miss connoisseur? I am a, a very finite window of time I can dig some Christmas music but then it's it, when it's done it's done kind of like our discussion about the cold yeah I don't I'm good for the season a little bit it's kind of goes along with everything but I same thing with the music I'm not a big not no I usually am not but maybe it's the kids maybe it's everything's kind of earlier this year I don't know yeah but I have been keeping it on some 94.5, and then I can, I can dig it. when the kids get all antsy in the car, I'm like, kids. Oh, get the kids. Turn I mean, it the kids up. Love and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Frosty doesn't? the snowman gets them turned Frosty on every time. Frosty the snowman. Well, I tell you what, what gets me in the mood is thinking about a wonderful Woodford Christmas. That's right, because there is no better way to spend a Christmas holiday than right here at home. I'm going to the. I'm going there right now. I'm going I am to so excited Facebook. about this. Like you, you, you look downtown. For sales, yes. way, anywhere, you're looking out and, you know, to great, it's just, we've taken it up a level this year and it's awesome. Yes, absolutely. Um, all of Woodford County has. Uh, we saw last week, we saw what Midway was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got all the um, 
for sales events uh, right here if you're looking at them. Uh, and then, uh, so, you know, the parade, parade is coming up, people. We still got the Festival of Trees going on. S'mores with Santa, two opportunities to have s'mores with Santa and do some ornament decorating. So definitely check that yes, out. Yes, uh, which I will show the, uh, uh, this updated uh, graphic because guess who is is sponsoring the s'mores with Santa and ornament decorate kinetic kinetic oh yes we kinetic. love them yes they hopped on with glee, glee on, onto yes. that one onto that one so okay. so yeah uh, that's that's awesome and um, you know uh, not to mention you know the Santa shuffle we'll talk more about it's coming up uh, Santa people. The tree, the tree lighting. The tree lighting. It's coming up this Friday night. It's going to be so fun. So th this coming weekend, December 3rd, 4th, 5th, is going to be a big weekend. Big. Um, the Alpha Lit folks that actually have a local company from here in Woodford County are going to have a photo opportunity. I'm like drunk uncle. <laughs> oh, tell them about Alpha Lit hitting the mic. <laughs> but seriously, tell them about what Alpha Lit is. Um, so Alpha Lit is, these, you guys have probably seen those letters that light up. We had it at the like HGI the bulbs, conference. Like the big bulbs, right? The big bulbs, yeah. Um, and so we, um, they, they have letters that have those big bulbs that light up. So we're going to have a photo opportunity where you can come out with your family and take a photo together or of the kids or of your dog or whoever you want. Um, a, yeah. to be able to have a wonderful Woodford Christmas. Um, so definitely check that out. That's going to be up by the police station. So you can stop in, um, eat local, walk up there, and then walk down Main Street and go into Midway, mm -hmm. shop, eat, do all the things. Mm -hmm. Buy local. There's somebody. There's something for everyone on your Christmas list, I promise, right here in Woodford County. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Christmas is, or, or Santa's coming. You guys, we still have... Um, I mean, we still we still got entries. We got you got to you got to put your Santa pictures in here. That's right. Um, it's super easy. You just um, you either send it or you or you, you post it on the, um, on a wonderful wood for Christmas, um, and we'll we'll see that. We'll share it to put it on the page, and I mean that's it. That's all you got to do. That's and, it. And then tune done in. And done. And then tune in uh, tomorrow for the winner because tomorrow November thirtieth. So we are hours away, just yeah. hours away from giving that away. So so upload all your pictures. Yep, yep, yep. But that's, oh my gosh, I can't even take it. That's not the only contest that's coming up, Emily. Mm -mm. Uh, a Wonderful Wood for Christmas is, they're going to have their very own contest for the downtown, uh, the downtown windows. It's a, it's a window decorating contest. You get a, the winner gets like, gets I think a hundred bucks. Um, so just be on the lookout for a wonderful wood for Christmas. That's why you got to go in there, follow, uh, like that page, so you get these type of things. It's coming. Go go to that. Go to that for details. Oh, kids calling. I hear. I hear the. I hear the kid calling. That's okay, because I'm gonna say. I, I need. I need to get current. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, okay, guys, so we have um, the Falling Springs Art Parks and Recreation Center. Um, we are so excited. They are having also, Corey, get this, a Christmas movie night in the big gym. So they are going to announce the movie that they are going to be showing. You can bring your lawn chairs. You can bring blankets. They are going to have um, some kind of snacks for the kids, and then their whole concession stand is going to be open. But what a fabulous time to get your kids out, watch an awesome Christmas movie there at Falling Springs. So check that out. Go to their Facebook page. Go to their website. Um, they still have basketball team signups um, left. Good. All their winter sports, um, their winter break camp is coming right up. Um, so, you know, when school is out and you need something for your kids to do, what a great opportunity to get them still with socialization mm -hmm. and crafts and recreation, get them up moving. And if you need that kind of child care, what a great opportunity. So check that out. They have um, break camps soon, guys. This is something that is really 
everything like bloggers and influencers and while we're seeing Christmas, everything is kind of a season ahead. So you want to live the moment of Christmas and the holiday season, but think about spring because all those spring athletics and programs are also coming up. So into winter sports, um, but be thinking about what your kids want to do because you can start to sign them up. Um, but what I always say is a 10 pass or 20 pass stocking supper gift is a, the best gift. So that's such a good idea. Uh, you I, can get a family pass. Like what a better uh, way to sign your whole family up. They can take advantage of the pool, the indoor, outdoor, the gym, mm -hmm, the programs, mm -hmm. the classes, the daycare, the, you know, the uh, kids zone area. Mm -hmm. So definitely think about that maybe as a gift for your whole family. Um, or especially if you have family coming in who like to work out, you guys could get like a class pass yeah. and then just share it throughout the holiday season. I mean, at the very least, get out there and go walk. It's got a yep. free track up there. Free track. Get out there, go walk it, look around, think about it. Think about it. And see, it's great because it. it's up in the top and you can kind of see kind of everything. So um, you really get a good sense of just how big that place is and yep. all the things they offer. So yes, 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 yes. Now you're current. I am. I feel pretty current. You got the deets. I feel pretty current. Uh, what I really need, though, is a good helping of... Woodford Weekends! Woodford Weekends Christmas Edition. Christmas Edition. <laughs> I wish we could like have it like Christmas Edition. <laughs> I know. Um, guys, if you have not been to the Kentucky Castle, it is one of those places that you can just go. Who are you? If you, you don't, you don't have to eat Castle. there. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to go to an event there, although mm -hmm. they have all those things, mm -hmm. which you should because it's farm-to-table restaurant. It's amazing. I mean, there's no way you're not going to go there. Like you said, I'll go look at it, and then like you, you're gonna end up eating, or, or at least go to the you're bar. You're gonna fall in love with it. The bar is yeah. open during lunch hours. I mean, they have a bar, they yeah. have a gift shop, um, yeah. awesome things. So follow them, but go if nothing else, go inside, especially if you have family in town. And, and I always say go around dusk because when the lights are lit up, it is amazing. They've got their Christmas tree up and all the lights and stuff. It's Outdoor, really cool. Outdoor, indoor, it is decorated to the nines. Yes. Um, so definitely check that out. The Bluegrass Railroad Museum has their Santa train. My family has tickets to that. I'm so excited to take yeah. the kids. I put them in their Christmas jammies. We get on the train. <laughs> the Santa comes on. It's a thing. It's jammies. I love it. Christmas jammies are the best. Um, but guys, what we're, we're also looking at doing a gift card program. So um, in Woodford County, historically, there are places you can get gift cards for people. Like if you're buying a gift card for a Secret Santa gift or a, somebody on your Christmas list. Um, but not everywhere has gift cards. You may not know where to go. So we are starting a Christmas card program um, where you can buy local and we're thinking about giving back. So say you buy a $50 gift card, we are going to pitch in, tourism is going to pitch in an extra $25. So stay tuned for those details. What? Follow us at Reserve Woodford because it is a great opportunity to shop local, support local, and, and just give back. My brother and his wife went to... Um, Heirloom, um, and it had been a little bit since they'd been to Heirloom. You mean heirloom? Heirloom. <laughs> and they were talking about how great it is. I think that's the thing. I think people oftentimes, you know, you just don't even think about yeah. what all's right here in your backyard. There's a lot. There's a whole, whole lot here, and uh, uh, especially restaurants. I mean, I mean, come on, I mean, Midway. But uh, you know, if you're mixing it up, like, yeah, hit up. I mean, you could, I mean, it just doesn't get old. Like, you can go to those places and still, and still be like, wow. Uh, <laughs> I hear, I hear a little voice. Blaze and the Monster Machines is off. One second. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do one of my favorite intros ever, which is Business Circle, brought to you by Woodford County Chamber of Commerce. Coming in hot. Oh, you're coming in hot. <laughs> I was just going to cut it right there you're for you. So you can take, no, no, you can take no, your no time. No, no, no need to cut. We can roll. Um, oh, roll, it, roll, roll it, roll it, roll it. it. We keep doing that. Um, so Business Circle, <laughs> our last, the Chamber's last big event of the year is we are contributing our part to the wonderful Woodford Christmas by hosting a Santa Shuffle 5K. Kids are free. It's a kids dash, two loops around the courthouse. So my daughter mm. is signed up for that. I'm really? so excited. Yeah. I need, to, I need to see if Avery wants to do it. I, I keep forgetting to ask her. I'm doing it, by the way. You it's are happening. You're signed it's up? Happened. Yeah. I had to call you out on social media. I'm not going to lie. But we got you We got you signed. So I got her. Hope everybody's all right. Oh, man. Um. So, yeah. So... December 4th, before the Christmas parade, 3 p.m., we are going to run. The Kids Dash starts just a few minutes before 3, so around 2.50. Okay. Um, we're going to run. But what we want you to do, this is going to be so fun, you guys. Dress up mm -hmm. as an elf, as Santa, as Mrs. Claus, as 
Whatever I find candy cane. I gotta find something. I yeah. gotta find a beard or or, or a hat or I got I gotta yeah. have something. Dress up in your best Christmas swag, okay. and we're gonna run. And it is a beautiful run. It's Rose Hill. It's um, Elm Street. It's the park. And you look downtown. at the map. I didn't look at the map. So yeah. So 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 you start. Where do you start again? Um, on Court Street. Court Street. Mm-hmm. And then you go run down Rose Hill. Yep. Okay. Okay. Got it. I'm, I'm digging it. And then through the back of the park, and then you'll come up through. Um, like Kentucky Avenue or Got it. Uh, yeah that area okay and it's and it's a little over three miles yes um 3.1 so okay a um, little 5k it's gonna be awesome stick around then for the Christmas parade and um visit you know go to Amsterdam coffee shop go to go get a coffee while you're out that we're gonna have a DJ throw down sounds he's a DJ in town yeah um he's trying to kind of start his business and get it oh, going he's killing it. Drew yeah. Wash is doing great things yeah. so he's gonna come out and have some fun music and then we're gonna, um, ha- you know, Mrs. Rogers popcorn. So all the downtown merchants are gonna be open. Um, and then get your spot for the parade early because it's gonna be a great one. May I go, uh, hit up uh, Rolling Oven? Maybe have a a, a good yeah. cold brew. And some bourbon bar. That's what you want whatever. after a lo- after a three mile yeah. run, right? <laughs> whatever it is. I'll meet some carbs. I'm gonna carb it up. That that carb idea city, is to get people city, downtown. City. So get your friends and family. Bring them all over. Dress up. It'll be a fun time. Here, here, man. You know. Maybe it's just because I'm getting older and I'm having, you know, kids and stuff now. But I honestly don't feel like, like I feel like every year we just keep stepping it up. Like we're doing more and more stuff. You know what I mean? Like I, I just feel like maybe I when I was it. younger I just was like, whatever, I'm getting out of here, man. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, and it didn't realize it. But I honestly feel like it's like we're just killing it, man. Every year. I mean, yeah. Woodford County, Versailles, Midway. Um, just, just, just Midway it had its biggest tree ever. It currently has. Oh, right, so yeah. Check that out. Yeah, I mean, yep. like I said, it's growing every it's year. Growing, man. That's crazy. But yes, and speaking I of you it. getting older, you just had a birthday. I did just have a birthday. How do you feel about the that? The ripe old age of 33. 33. Oh, you're still a pup. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's a good feeling. You know, there are things. Uh, I was just talking with, with a buddy um, about do you feel older? Which is something young people say when, yeah. when you, when you get older, and uh, you know I don't I don't I don't really physically I guess feel older. It's more like the mindset. It's more like okay, well, I'm mortal. I you know I can't I'm not invincible like I once thought I was. Like today I got in my attic for something, and um, you know the attic my attic isn't the one with the pool downstairs. Uh-huh. It's just a hole in the like a <laughs> it's. I just I just get so frustrated with it, so I use derogatory term, terms like, "Oh, it's a hole in the wall." I know, I'm you got to get a ladder out. I'm picturing like a fireman's pole, just another <laughs> yeah. hole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you climb up, but like, no, <laughs> it's it it's uh. So I have to get the ladder from the garage, carry it up. I have to go pff, the thing. It doesn't fit all the way right, so I have to pull it up, move it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm crawling out of a tomb. Yep. You know, it's and bad deal. First it, one, and yeah, and I'm getting up there, and like you know. The, the wood is connected with these metal, mm-hmm. like L brackets, and they're, they don't stick right, and they're a little stuck up. So if you snag your pants, you cut your. I mean, it's, it really loses that. It, it's it, it, it it's it's infuriating. <laughs> so I I'm up there. I'm being all careful, but I'm, you know I have this you know this thought this you know it's like man, it's like when I was younger I felt like I'd be like hey, ha, get up yeah, there yeah. flip. Sure. Uh, I'm up, whatever. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. I'm just Why like, <laughs> I'm Spider-Manning up there. So, but I'm like rickety, trying not to like. I'm, I'm heavier than I used to be, so I'm like, you're bracing can't. yourself. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's like, man, but if I fall, like, like I could, I could get hurt. I could get really hurt. I could. But not only that, there's hospital bills. Yeah. I'm gonna, I could break things, you know. So that that's not a like you I don't want that. Commission for a little while. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it's, it's things take longer to heal. So so yeah. I, I, I you have love that your mindset. story, but I have a kid. Oh, go! I I love what you have to say, but but the kid comes first, which I 100 percent agree in, uh, agree with. Uh, this segment should have been on the why not. It should have been on the why not a little bit. Why not whining about getting older? You're you're absolutely right. Uh, but I I do want to move out to uh, another segment that, that I hold close to my heart, which is the out and about segment. And this is such a cool one. Uh, you're looking at I the uh, participating agents uh, for our out and about segment here. Uh, and, and also the one and only Becky Baldwin. Baldwin. I almost said Becky Burgess Baldwin again. I know. Uh, 
and uh, with Republic State Mortgage, yeah. And uh, so uh, amazing sponsors uh, sending us out places to, uh, to, to highlight. And we get to highlight um, the Woodford wrestling team, and we want to talk about the uh, uh, football team. Our Yellow Jackets are doing phenomenal across so the, the football board. Game. Um, the, the volleyball team went so far this year. The volleyball? cheer team is still in it. Mm, cheer the team. football team has obviously broken records. Um, and then, of course, you know, the wrestling team is getting geared up, but they are phenomenal, too. Our academics, to our athletics, to our extracurriculars, these yeah. Yellow Jackets are something, Corey. It's like, it is wild. Like, it is a totally different thing. Like, when I was in high school, like, uh, these jackets right now are crushing it, and I'm super proud of them. Uh, couldn't be more prouder. But I want to ask you a quick question before we go to the out and about. Okay. Um, I So you just mentioned volleyball, cheerleading, uh, wrestling. wrestling, and football. What is the out of that four? What is the one sport that I that I, I, I didn't play? Well, I know you were a cheerleader, so so that oh, that one's gonna. Um, I know you wrestled, um, and then I, let's see what did I what what all was there? Volleyball, oh, volleyball. football left. Yeah. So um oh volleyball was just starting when I was there. So I'm gonna say I am older than you, but it was just starting. Um and I want to say it was only girls at the time. Um. So, which dates us, but that, that's true. So, Corey, volleyball is my final answer. That's great. That's, uh, you know me better than I thought you did. Yeah. Uh, yes, I did cheerlead for about a week or two. Uh, and uh, I did wrestle in middle school. And you were the mascot. The mascot is technically a part of the cheer team. Oh, that's true, too. I was the mascot for a little while. <laughs> I know you, Corey. That's yeah. Story. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've that seen was so those much. Books. That I've was seen so those much channel fun. fours. Oh, those channel fours. Oh my gosh. Good, good times. Good times. Great oldies. Good oldies. Let's go. Let's go check out the football team and the wrestling team and just get a just get a good essence. And I, thank I'm, you I'm, so much to the mayor uh, and the city of Versailles for making this this highlight come kind of to fruition this, because I think it needs. This came happen. straight from the mayor, baby. Uh, mayor Brian Troggett loves his jackets, loves his, you know, loves his people, man. Loves his his people. Yeah. His people. Am I Lee? Go, go tend to your, to your try. How many glasses? How many glasses have you? No, I'm joking. No, don't say that. Oh, I, no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, no, I, I, no. I didn't mean it like that. No, no, no. How many episodes does he watch? This <laughs> it's fine. We're all fine. We're all fine. This is fine. It's like that meme with, yeah, you're sitting there, everything burning around you. That's kind of sometimes, you know, where we go with this. Humans, people, Woodford Countyans, thank you so much for tuning in. We are getting close to the end of the year. We, we want, we want, we're going to do a, a fun uh, kind of year in review uh, in December of all of our um, top faves, top faves uh, segments. So be on the lookout for, for more information on that and possibly another live. Uh, we're working on that, so yeah, man. Let's, Adios. Let's go. Let's get out there. What's up, Woodford? Uh, it honors me to be here. Uh, it, it, it excites me. I'm super pumped to be in the high school gymnasium, especially with Mr. Cody Lewis here. I uh, went to school with this guy, wrestled with this guy. I'm super excited about what you got going on here, man. Yes. Um, so, head, oh, by the way, I should say head coach yeah. of the wrestling team this year. Are you? Are, so, I'm just excited to hear everything you, you told me a little bit, obviously, before we started rolling about what you were doing. But please tell everybody, what are you doing, man? Man, um, really, just trying to bring back this program, um, getting the tradition back to where it needs to be. Right. Um, so, we we start from the ground up. We we got our hands in the youth, middle school, yes, and, and the high school. So, um, if your kids at whatever age come on out he's already he's already yes. grabbing yes i love it i love that that's exactly what it is man it, it was just such an honor doing that uh, i wrestled in middle school but you know it was just it, it was such a tradition it felt i was such a part of something and you you are like it's a brotherhood man it, yes. it's really really cool but you're doing some not only are you bringing back the the, the uh, well i can't talk today the tradition if you, you've seen the rest of the show obviously i couldn't get anything out earlier but what else are you doing to bring back that tradition man like our team has new gear this year, new singlets, That's new, so new warm-ups. Um, I've been redoing the wrestling room. We're just trying to get everything. We're going back old school, but mm -hmm. with a facelift. I can do right? it. Yeah. So everything that Coach Carr and Coach Parks brought to this <laughs> program, I'm just trying to fill those shoes. Yeah. Um, and it, they're, they're big shoes to fill. 
They so, sure are. Yes. They sure are. But but there's nobody better than you, man. Not not gonna lie. I mean, you, you're 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 killing it. I mean, you're taking exactly the 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 base of where it was created, and you're and you're utilizing that, and you're building on top of it. You know, that's you know, you're making it like you said. It's it's old school, but it's it's a facelift. Right. You're you're, you're just making it. You're just bringing it into the new age, man. Right, I'm and, trying. And, and and the new gear, the new the new car. Oh my gosh, singlets are just are just they look great. They look fantastic. You guys saw some footage of of the wrestling room and the state champs. Went to school with a lot of those guys. Uh, it, it's just man, I just you can I can't I'm beaming right now. It's so right. awesome. Uh, so I, you said we, we're going to hear from some actual wrestlers. Yes, correct? yes. So we got Gavin Angeroni. Um, he's long line of wrestlers came through here. Uh, you got Ooh. Max Angeroni and Wyatt Angeroni, and this is the last Angeroni to come through. So, <laughs> lot, 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 no pressure. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> oh, jeez, awesome, man. Well, let's let's hear from let's hear from some of your wrestlers. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, man. I'm super excited about the year. This is great. Thank you so much, Brian Chogget, for uh, for uh, sponsoring this out and about. Uh, let's 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 hear from these guys. Yes, thank you very much. Of course, of course, Gavin. We just heard from your head coach, Cody Lewis. Great guy. Went to school with the man. Uh, fantastic coach. Fantastic wrestler. Uh, but he tells me you're you're something else right now. He said you come from a long line of wrestlers. Yeah. Yeah. So so are you excited about this year? Or are you, how, what are you doing to get in preparation? What are you doing to stay hyped? Uh, just going in practice, working my hardest. Uh, just having my mind on one goal is to win. <laughs> It, it, that's 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 perfect. That's all you need, man. That one goal, win, win. Anything, anything to win. You know, yeah. that, that's that's huge. Are you excited about the new things, like the new wrestling room and some of the things Cody's doing to to save everybody, uh, keep everybody up? Oh yeah, the wrestling room is great. It's like yeah. a whole different room. Do, do you feel the tradition though, like when you walk in, like even though that even though like you walk in, it looks kind of new and, and fresh, but you still. I, I just walked in there. You, we saw some B-roll of that, but I just walked in there. Just you got that whole that, those feelings, right? Yeah. So so you, you had older brothers or you had family that wrestled here or any, uh, everywhere. Yeah, my oldest brother Max, he was a state champ here, and then Wyatt, he wrestled yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, my dad, he wrestled in. Oh my UK. gosh. He did? Yeah. So, you know, you walk into a wrestling room and you just feel something different than everybody else, right? Oh, yeah. So you've been around it forever. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much, Gavin, for talking to me. Okay. All right, man. Hey, good luck this year. Thank and you. Uh, And keep on keeping on, man. All right. I see. <laughs> you, got, you got busted up. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, that's all right, man. That happens. That happens. Lauren, just talked to Gavin back there. All right? He, he really he set the bar high. All right? Uh, you know, we talked about, you know, the tradition, what Cody's doing. Uh, to keep to keep everybody hyped up, ready to go. Uh, what is the Woodford County wrestling tradition to you? I mean, it's really just winning. We're like, you can you can just you can just tell we're just winners. You can, just the team is just winners. <laughs> you could have just said we're winners and just like we're dropped winners. the mic and walked away. That's literally <laughs> it. We're the win we're the, like we are known for wrestling. Yes. Literally, Woodford County High School is known for wrestling yeah. because. We're winners. That's literally we, all there is to it. We're winners, man. And like, if not the you know, the football team, uh, you know, is just is killing it right now. But when I was in high school, you know, and, and when I wrestled, you know, it was it was, you you know, you actually you wouldn't have to, but I had to dye my hair hair blonde, right? Yeah. You know, that's and go still it. part of the tradition. It's still part of the tradition. It is. I mean, it, it is. We're trying to take it in a new direction though, since we have girls on the team. Yeah. So we're trying to do something a little different, but still something with the hair. Love it, love it. I love new because uh, it works out perfectly from what Cody was saying. He was like, "We're bringing back the tr the tradition where Woodford County was, but he's giving it a facelift, a new kind of feel and look and brand." And uh, and there's no, no nobody better. I feel like he's he's been. How has Cody been for a coach for you? Do you call? Is it is it weird to say Cody? Is it should I say coach? No, no, no. Yeah. Cody's good. Cody's good. Cody's good. <laughs> He's over that's, there like, yeah, you better say different. coach. Like, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm getting so excited I'm spitting right now. So, yeah. So I feel like most of the – it's different having Cody as a coach because Cody is more like a family member than really – he is also a coach, but he's also more like a family member to most of the team. Yeah. He's a tighter bond. Does it, I mean, I, I completely 100% understand because I was just saying this with, with Gavin. I mean, it's such a it, – it's such a family bond. I mean – you know, once a wrestler, always a wrestler. You know, that's what it feels like. And uh, and and I just can't say. You know, he's just off screen, so I'm pointing over there. But uh, but yeah, I can't say. You know, en enough good things about him. But uh, Lauren, tell me one more thing. What are you most excited about this year? Um, I would probably say WCI as long as we keep having if yeah. we have it. I would say WCI because it's kind of Wilford County Invitational. Our, yeah. Correct. Okay. Our tournament. Our so, tournament. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, like they've had.
had it for several, several yeah. years. Yeah. So I probably most decide for WCI, I would say. That's awesome. Well, Lauren, thank you so much for talking with me. Uh, no, you're good. Okay. <laughs> a little sweaty. It happens. It happens when, when you wrestle. But, but thank you so much for talking with me. I'm super excited to see you wrestle this year. I'd be amiss if I didn't talk to Miss Kaylin here. Kaylin, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I, I can't complain. We're here. We're wrestling here. I mean, that, wrestling, wrestling is, is, is great. Have you wrestled yet today? No, I'm out for knee surgery problems. I want to be back to Girl State. In that's February. okay. Everybody show out. I mean, Girl State, though. I mean, come on. I mean, that's, that's the best. Exactly. I mean, you know, you could be out until Girl State. You'll be fine. Yeah. You don't need any of this. Practice. Practice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, uh, but no, yeah. Oh, I see. Now I see. Yeah. I'm looking down and I'm, seeing, I'm seeing the brace here. So, you know, I know you've been out uh, and you're getting well and you're, and you're, you know, you're doing the right thing by, uh, by getting better. But uh, I need to ask, you know, what, what is, I've asked Gavin and Lauren, but, um, what are you excited, most excited about this year? For this season, really rebuilding our program is something I'm very excited that's for. That's good. We've been kind of lacking the past couple of years. Oh, it's been okay. really good. It's been really good, but like we but can definitely use room for improvement. Use, got, it, got it, got it, got it. team, especially with a lot of our better seniors graduating, it's a rebuilding year overall. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and with a lot yeah. of support from the community that we've been having and some from the school, like I think it's going to be a really good year. I mean, the ball is rolling. I mean, it is rolling um, not only from, I mean, volleyball did great, cheerleading is doing great, uh, football, Football's obviously, obviously. Great. obviously. Yeah. Uh, but wrestling has always been that, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's all Woodford County wrestling. I mean, come on. It's a I mean, staple of our county. It is that's a staple. Like that's, a, that's such a good, it's a staple. And Cody's really doing a good job of taking that tradition, and this has been a theme throughout this out and about, but that, that, that tradition, but giving it kind of a, kind of a facelift, kind of a boost, right? Because that's really important uh, is that, that whole camaraderie, that whole thing, right? Do you kind of feel that going? I, I can't, I love that logo. Oh, the, yeah, the, it's so cute. This new gear Brand is new. so sharp. It's very slick. Another thing First Cody has done. New year. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Sorry. First time we got new gear. <laughs> Rock on, man. That, that's Love awesome. It. So, so that's that's really cool. So you, Lauren. I mean, there's a whole bunch of really. I mean, I'm looking around. Young, younger guys, older oh, yeah. guys. I mean, there's a there's a lot of different people uh, uh, on this team. Could you can you tell me a little bit about uh, the, the team and how the team's looking? It's very diverse. This year we have a lot of new incoming people, mm -hmm. brand new kids, but we also yeah. have some seasoned veterans who have been wrestling right. you know, since they were five or six years old. That's so it's crazy. quite the mix this year. I yeah. think it'll be really interesting to see how the season plays out, especially in a dual format when the whole team's involved. That's super awesome. I'm really excited about I it. Am too. So you're excited. Everybody's got the new gear. Oh, we yes. got the new wrestling room. Exactly. Looks uh, so good. I was just telling Cody, I walked in and it just like feels like the good old fashioned like wrestling, right? So the good old fashioned wrestling. It all season. I'm sure you did, and uh, you're getting better. And please keep getting better. We're going to see you in, in Girl State. Of course. And uh, any, anything, anything to add before? But we're, you have the last word. Oh, of course. Um, <laughs> let's see. Anybody can do wrestling. I think that's something a lot of people are scared of, especially girls in our community. They don't want to come out, but <sighs> it's it's going to be okay. Like I promise. It seems intimidating at first, but like there's so many great things you can do, and don't let fear of failure or possible things you could worry about stop you from being great because there's so many good things you can do that can come out of this and i believe everyone should try it at least once because there's nothing that'll hurt you from doing that kaylin for president that's what i gotta say <laughs> that's what i got <laughs> there you go i mean come on I mean, kaylin can do it lauren can do it uh gavin can do it uh if I, I can do it <laughs> you can do it uh it, it's a great program uh i'm speaking from from the heart here i mean it was amazing when i went through it um, and I know Cody is doing a great job. So, uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Kalen, so much. Gavin, I think he's, is he here? Is that him? Is that him? Wrestling wrestling oh, boy. Oh, there he is. Everybody, let's go. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, what's up, Woodford?